Hello, welcome to this week's Behind the Poem, where I take you behind the poem. Uh, this week, I'm doing something I've not done before here on this series. I feel like I've maybe done this in life or on stage before, but um, this is definitely unprecedented. I know that's a word we've used a lot in the last few years, but this is literally unprecedented. Um, I'm going to do a mini featured set performing poems from my middle school and high school journal. <laughs> um, I'm fairly certain some of these are never before released completely um, straight from the archives. One was published in my high school literary magazine. See, I've got post-it, so I've already decided the set list. Um, I will let you know when we get there. So come along for the journey. And it's pseudo coincidence that I'm wearing a uh, 90210 senioritis shirt um, to really make sure we feel in the 90s spirit. Um, most of these poems will be from 1996 to 1999, so pre 21st century. These are truly from the archives. Here we go. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I'm doing this, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> My first poem today is called Long Lost Love. It's from October 5th, 1996. Now, I will tell you when I found this poem this morning and was like, oh my God, who's it about? Good thing that middle school and high school me had an index in the back where I listed one word to describe what each poem was about. Um, so always a Virgo rising, um, true, true to my natal chart. What's most, um, incredible about all this is I'd say like, it's possible to distill the contents of this entire journal down to, um, love and romance, um, eating disorders, depression, anxiety, trauma, and world peace or wanting world peace. So basically my content hasn't evolved. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Long lost love. Also, I do know who this is about now. Could not have told you if it weren't for the index. Um, someone from Hebrew school I had a crush on. We slow danced at a B mitzvah. I wonder where he is. Okay, long lost love, still long lost love. Finally single, I couldn't hold back. I knew that I liked him, and that was a fact. Building and building, my feelings would grow. Yet there was something I still did not know. When I reached the height, spelled H-I-E-G-H-T, of the things that I felt, a friend told me news, making me melt. I couldn't forget him at this point in time with his voice and his looks running constant in mind. Forever a place he'll hold in my heart, even though I forgot about him until this morning, and maybe come back so we won't be apart. Woo! Okay. Um, this is from January 17th, 1997. It's called Dial Tone. Um, it's about my loneliness. Which is killing me and I. Okay, an empty heart where no one phones. It's so sad. An empty heart where no one phones and silenced by a dial tone. A bowl of soup without the spoon. An opera singer out of tune. A little sky, a starlit sky without a glow. A swirling wind without a blow. A candy cane without the stripes, a furnace room without the pipes, a summer camp without the friends, a marathon that has no end, oh God, a bubble bath without the suds, hanging out without your buds, a scantron sheet done in pen, nine and 11 without 10, New York's Broadway with no shows, your 
your own feet without the toes. I don't love that phrasing now because some people don't have toes or feet. So um, conversation be had with my younger self. My empty heart, so alone, pick up and break the dial tone. Uh, thank you for being here on this journey with me. I like read most of that um, in advance and skip miss some of that and um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm, I'm skipping a lot of the eating disorder stuff, um, but not the depression, not the depression. This is from, um, October 6th, 1998. This is the poem I promised you that was published in my high school literary magazine. It's called The Funeral. I'm fairly certain I can recite it from memory, but I, but I might need to look down. I sing this dirge upon my soul. It's tumbling down a hill. My mind and body haunted with pain fell off the window sill. Hear ye, we all lament the death the child's cheer has passed. She lives in sorrow, eats her tears, and sleeps inside a cast and is deeply depressed, but thankfully she's on Zoloft. And then Paxil um, during that period of time to get her through. This is from March 22nd, 1999. Um, according to our index in the back, it's about a, a good friend at the time. Um, and what's funny is that this person's no longer in my life. You'll see why that's funny. Like a palette where the colors, so vibrant with images and chiseled spelled with a Z, <laughs> away impurities blended into so many obscure colors, confusing in its unconformed non-rainbow attire. You force, I don't know what that means, you force an honest being to ponder your in innermost values and as intriguing and frustrating as your answer may be, I think you've created a beautiful portrait inside yourself. For now, you are just a Monet to me. But as nature's artwork, I wish to frame you into my life, my world, and my museum and collection of priceless companions. Guess you did not stay part of the museum. All right, we're gonna close out with, uh, with a song. I don't remember the melody, but we've got the lyrics here. I'm just gonna adjust. I was sitting on my knees for a while. Now we're gonna go back to my buttocks, my glutes with my legs crossed. All right, July 4th, 1999. This is called Glory Those Who Shelter Me. I do not remember I don't remember the tune. Glory those who shelter me, who feel my pain in harmony. Oof. For some have dropped the rope that held their passion to my heart, while others still have yet to know what soundly keeps us far apart. I've walked the plank and swam to shore. Pirate imagery. I've walked from bed to hit the floor. I've broken bones to be just me but efforts washed into the sea. And now I'm dazed and half awake. I plan to sleep until daybreak. And then I'll rise a turtle dove if I could have my dreams above. But fantasy remains unreal until my spirit breaks the seal. But soul on earth is what must stand as water filters through my hand. A drop of tears for those who lack, I don't know if they lack, not those who guided me on track, a drop for those who don't commit, but I thank those who give a shit. Thank you for giving a shit. <laughs> thank you so much for coming to my feature. If you have any wonders, questions, comments, concerns, hit it up below and uh, yeah, have a great weekend. Bye. <laughs>